how many of you out there purchased a buttload of 32 gauge Canthal to find it just doesn't cut the mustard? I did! Today, I'm going to show you guys how to twist 32 gauge Canthal and wrap a bitchin' coil. <laughs> so here's what you're going to need to make the twisted wire. 32 gauge Canthal, tweezers, a torch, a pair of pliers, and a drill. First thing you're going to want to do is clip three sections of 32 gauge Canthal, each section being 8 inches. Then you're going to want to join all three pieces together, make sure that they're completely even on both ends. The first end, you're going to want to fold it over. Just like that. You're going to want to pinch it, make a little crease there, and then what we're going to do is insert it in between those four clamps in the drill. So once you've inserted that first fold into those clamps, it's going to look just like that. Now you're going to want to give it a little tug to make sure that it's not going to come undone, it's not going to come loose, it's not going to come out. Then what you're going to want to do is take the slack out of all three of those wires and then you're going to make another fold on this other end. Take the slack completely out, then clamp your pliers right underneath that fold to hold it in place, just like that. Keep it tight and we're gonna start really slow. You're gonna wanna go, go, go. You'll see it, tighten it up. You don't wanna go too fast. It's looking good, but you wanna go until right before it starts to kink up. You do not wanna let it kink up, because if you let it kink up, it becomes worthless. Where those kinks are, you're gonna have hot spots, no good. And you'll feel it. You wanna keep it going until you get it just right, and I'll show you what just right is. Perfect right there. And that's where we stop. Take the wire out of the four clamps. Where I made those folds in the end, all we're gonna do is clip those off using my nail clippers. Clip right underneath it. Same thing on the other end. And that's what she needs to look like right there. No kinks, perfect twist all the way through. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to wrap her into a micro coil and install her into your K-Fun light. All right, so once we've got our twisted 30 gauge wire, we're gonna go ahead and torch it. And the reason why we wanna torch it is to get the springiness out of it. Clamp on the end. Just going to torch it all the way through. I'm going to even torch it one more time all the way through. Make sure you let her cool off for a minute, and then what I'll do is I'll straighten her out. Next step, I'm using a rod that's equivalent to something like a 564 drill bit. Now when you do your wraps, you want to make sure that all your coils are as close together as possible. And because we're going to be installing this coil in a K-Fun system, you want to make sure that both leads are going under in the opposite direction. Take the coil off of the drill bit or the rod you're using. They are still a little springy from that twist. I'm going to go ahead and take these tweezers, clamp her down, and then give her a good torch to get these coils side by side. Make sure she glows for a good 10 seconds.
you got to make sure she cools off for a good five minutes or so. Once she's cooled off, I'm going to insert my rod back into this twisted micro coil. Today I'm going to be using, it's actually a Russian 91%, but got to give credit where credit's due. It is Vomesto's design, so K-Fun Light. We're going to be calling it a K-Fun Light. If you got a Russian, it'll work too. But I've got it sitting on this Panzer Mechanical Mod. All we're going to do is place this micro coil on the deck. Make sure both the leads are sitting inside, just like that, on this side. This lead right here is going to be trapped underneath this screw, and that lead is going to be trapped under that screw. Hold the micro coil down, unscrew this screw. We're going to wrap this lead underneath that screw, just like that. Tighten her down. Same thing on this side. Pull this lead underneath this screw. Tighten her down. So before I clip the leads, I'm just going to give her a good tighten once more at both connections. Clip the first lead. Clip the second one. All we're going to do is lift this coil just a bit. Make sure it's straight over that airflow right there. And you want to make sure that there's a gap. Lift it up a little bit. Oh yeah. A kick-ass twisted 32 gauge micro coil. And all the coils are glowing from the inside out. And if you're a rebuildable guy and you don't have an ohmmeter, I highly recommend you get one because this ohmmeter really does come in handy. It really does. So if you don't have one and you rebuild coils all the time, highly recommend getting one. But if I had to guess, this coil, before even screwing this thing on this ohmmeter, is probably reading between 0.9 and 1 ohm. Eh, well, it's about 1.1, so I was a little off. So today I'm going to be using organic cotton, and we're just going to go ahead and insert that into this coil. What I like to do is pinch each edge, give it a little twist. Perfect. Right there is perfect. Give the cotton a little bit of juice. Make sure the cotton is pressed against this deck right here, against this wall. And you want to make sure these channels are open on both sides so that liquid can get up to the wick, to the coil. Okay, see how the channels are open on both sides? Quick fire. Oh yeah. Fill her up. Put that screw back in there, and she, she is ready to be vaped. Let's go ahead and take her back to the original screen, see how she vapes. Woo! Little foggy up in here. So that is how to twist 32 gauge canthal using three strands of 32 gauge canthal and how to wrap a micro coil out of it. This is between a 1 ohm and 1.1 ohm coil. I've got it on a mechanical mod with a freshly charged 18500 battery. This mechanical mod is the Panzer. This is a Russian 91 K-Fun Light clone. So how's she vaping? I'm telling you what, if you guys have 32 gauge canthal lying around, you're giving up on it because you've gone on to the 28 gauge, 26 gauge, 24 gauge. Revisit this stuff. You can twist it and you can make it hit better than 28 gauge. This build right here, it's a one ohm build guys. I've got it in a mechanical mod and it's hitting like a freaking train. Can you imagine if I had this on a 20 watt or 30 watt device? Insane! Flavor from the 32 gauge is more crisp 
than something like the 28 gauge. And when you combine three strands of 32 gauge, it still brings that crisp element, but it also brings the dense element because it becomes a thicker wire. People are saying, ooh. You know, a lot of people are questioning about the twisted wire, saying, well, if you're twisting 32 gauge or 30 gauge, isn't that the same thing as something like 28 gauge or 26 gauge? No, it's not. It's not even close because when you twist your wire, whether it's flat ribbon wire, regular canthal, it changes changes the shape totally of that wire, which changes the way the wire is touching the wick. Twisted wire covers more surface area than regular canthal, and your vape is going to be totally different. It really is. This twisted 32 gauge is better. Yes, I said it. It's better than regular 28 gauge canthal. The flavor is more crisp. It's more dense. It's obviously more warm. You get more vapor production. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a train. I've got this Russian with the airflow damn near wide open and it's kicking my throat's ass. If you got 32 gauge line around, you got to give it a go. I hope this helps. That's how to do it. Put her to work. This is Rip Trippers and remember, smoking is dead, vaping is the future and the future.